Hi folks, I'm over Jimmy's unit at the moment and I'm in the process of getting the hole through the wall for the 12 inch ventilation duct. Let's do a spray booth video. See you in a minute. Right, well it's a Saturday afternoon now, so I'm just plodding along here on my own. And I've, I'm in the process of taking these bricks out, as you can see, this is a double skin wall. And apparently you probably can't see it from here, but these bricks, let me show you. Here's the wall there, as you can probably see. This is a double skin wall, and it's these uh, big like, concrete bricks. And I don't know whether you can see or not, but you probably can't see, but here, where I'm actually going through, these are a different type of brick, and it's a slightly different textured surface. So that basically means there's been a hole here before. So as you can probably see, I've taken one and a half bricks out here. I need to get a 12 inch hole in here, so I'm gonna probably have to come down a little bit further here. And I'll draw that hole on in a second. But as you can probably see, that's the outer wall there. And these are the original bricks surrounding there. And as you can see there, someone else has actually put bricks back in because the outside of the building has got to be made good after obviously you uh, finished, with work, uh, finished with this unit, as the previous people did. So I'm just opening up an original hole there one that's actually been there before, so. Oh, I'm all fogged up. <laughs> oh, right, well that wasn't too bad a job to be honest with you. I'm pleased with the way that's gone out now. Let me just see if that's big enough to get the, uh, the actual duct in through. I think it is. Just have a quick look. <sighs> yes, there we go. I'll probably bring it down to here. And what I'm gonna take through there I'll show you, right there. There'll be a, this is 12 inch ducting by the way, and it's gonna be a 90 degree bend coming downwards. Just wants trimming up a little bit, I could go through there, so there we go. So that'll have to go like that. I want to get it in there, like that. Well, probably, it might kick out like that. It might kick out at a 45 degree angle because I've got a 45 to bring it straight back down again. Probably like that somehow, I suppose. And then the 45 bringing it down now. Because I've got this um, fan box, which, let me show you. Oh, well this little baby is, let me show you, let's put this uh, down here for the minute. Fan box here is a, an explosion proof fan with a 12 inch diameter. And this is basically going to sit halfway up on a platform here. This will go there basically like that. That will be coupled up with this fan and this box will house a carbon filter which will be cut in to this panel here and be mounted probably there at the moment I suppose and the reason why I've done that is because um, then I can put the actual filter membrane on the inside all I can do is cut a slot in here uh, if necessary and just drop a carbon filter in there but in front of that on the face you'll have the actual changeable uh, filter membrane which we bought a big roll of with a metal grid over it so that's the one you just go from the inside of the booth uh, and take the grid off and then just change the filter membrane as you use it or as you need it and this ducting as you know will be coupled up to that there 
with a piece of flexible ducting, uh, the aluminium type. I'll show you that here, uh, when we come to do it. And if this doesn't prove strong enough, because this will be sucking out obviously, because apparently in the UK here, the uh, health and safety guidelines for a spray booth or a spray room, and also they really want you to work on a negative air pressure system. And what a negative air pressure system booth uh, entails is basically you have your, your, your extract, which is sucking air out of the room, and that when all the doors are shut, that creates a negative pressure inside the booth compared to the outside pressure. In other words, it sucks in. You might have seen other people's videos on YouTube when they've attached sort of, they've made their polythene booths or whatever, and they've put an extract fan on, and when they turn the fan on, it sucks all the plastic in. Well, that's actually working on a negative pressure. And as likewise, there's other people on YouTube who have built polythene booths and they've not used an extract fan, they've used an intake fan. And the intake fan, when they suck air into the booth, just have the panels to the exit open with maybe a filter gauze on it or whatever. And what you'll see then is when they suck air into a booth or push air into a booth, the plastic expands and it sort of blows up. Well, that is a positive air system or positive pressure system. But in the uh, event of health and safety here in the UK, they, they require or recommend, it, it's just, it's just guidelines, they require that you have a negative air pressure system. So that's what this is gonna be. The main vacuum is going to be on the exhaust fan and the filtration to outside is gonna be done via carbon filters and also the uh, filter membrane on the inside of the booth. Now, if there's not enough air flow in the booth, uh, oh, sorry, and also what we're doing on the opposite side, on the far side of the booth, we're actually having a, again, a similar setup with a grill, but with, with no fan on it at the moment. And if there's not enough f f f f airflow in the booth with just this extract, we've got two options we can take. One is to fit another one of these directly underneath, so that we've, we've got twice the power coming out. Or we can put a smaller intake fan on the other side, so it just pushes the air towards the exit, so to speak. And providing that you've got a smaller fan than your extract, you will maintain a negative pressure booth. So that's what it's all about in this case. So this fan here from Power Star Electricals is a, a, an ATEX rated fan, which is an explosion proof fan. And it's something that you really need if you're doing this. There's loads of cheaper fans on eBay and uh, around, the, uh, around the internet that are not uh, ideal for explosive uh, explosion atmospheres and this one is so as you can probably see it's a big 12 inch number and it's a pretty strong fan it's a <clears throat> this one's a 240 volt system and i'm sure if you actually visit the uh power star website you can actually see this fan and i think they sell them on ebay and amazon as well and it is a tech rated or a tech rated so that's what you really need it may look similar to one of the other ones on youtube but this one is explosion proof and a tech rated so that's where we're at at the moment. I'm just going to try and knock the outer bricks out now. I've got to keep them nice and tidy because we've got to retain them for if and when we ever do leave this unit, you've got to put everything back as it was. So I'm going to knock the outside bricks and then I'll come back and see you in a minute. Bye for now. That's the outside flange up now. All I need now is a 90 degrees coming out. Where are we? Uh, coming out and shooting up to above the roof line with a cap on it. I'm happy with that.
Well, there we go. That's the outer pipe now put in place. All I've got to do is to get two metal brackets to come round the actual 12 inch duct in, go into the back wall and then fix in two fixings above and below where my little supports are at the moment. Right, well, I had to come home for a minute. This is half the problem with working away from home. All your tools and equipment is basically in your workshop. And I've had to come home because that pipe work, I wasn't happy with the pieces of wood you saw that I made there for the spacers to come off the wall. I literally just to hold it out there basically. So I've got some proper pipe brackets, but um, they come with, let me show you, let me show you. As you can probably see there, they've come with a little stud there, which is supposed to come down to, a, I think it's an eight or 10 mil down to a, a bracket, and that's supposed to fix it off the wall. But I'm not too happy with that little setup there. You can see a little tiny weld on that, so I'm not gonna rely on that. So what I've actually done is to get some, um, basically some flat iron, and let me take that out of there. Oop. And I've basically bent a couple of brackets up like that, as you can see, quite straightforward really. And I've turned them into basically that. So that's gonna sit on the wall, and that's a lot more substantial once it's actually fixed at the bottom there. I'll put three fixings at the bottom there, as you can probably see. And I'll be a lot more happier with that than, um, than using the original single little stud there that was initially just gonna come down the middle there. So that's what I've been making here. So yeah, I mean, the clocks have gone back uh, today, this morning they went back, so we're losing light now. It's nearly four o'clock now and the light's just going down now. So um, I'll hope, I was hoping to get this back in today, but I mean, I'll do it tomorrow. I don't really want to be there on my own up the ladder and um, trying to get that in, because uh, you really want someone when I'm sort of manipulating and drilling at a high level sort of thing. Although I have done it on my own, so. Yeah, just to say hello again to uh, Dave Jaguar who um, I had a little phone call with the other day. Dave Jaguar's got a, a channel on YouTube, Dave, Dave Jaguar, uh, who obviously restores Jaguars. <laughs> and he's actually doing um, a, a Mini as well at the moment. So he's got about two or three going at the moment on the go. He's just done an E-Type Jag, which has actually turned out fantastic. And if you actually go to his channel, you'll see the, the refurbishment and uh, the, the way that he's done it now. He's now on an XK, he's doing uh, an XK, and he's got a friend of his, he lives out in Vienna, by the way. He's born and bred in London, anyway, we've moved to Australia, and he's now in Vienna, so um, he's been about the world, and he does come over here now and again to pick up some parts, and I think he's actually picking up, or bringing his engines over uh, to be uh, either refurbished or whatever, so, um, and he's picking up some parts for the XK Jaguars as well, so, hello to you, Dave, I understand you had a few issues with your computer with regard to comment section on YouTube, and you couldn't receive uh, comments at all, but I think you got that sorted now, I'm not too sure, I'm sure you told me you got it sorted. And also, um, a sell, a say hello to uh, our. I was walking around uh, Sainsbury's home base today in um, Sleaford, and I was pulled up by a chap, and he recognised me obviously from the YouTube channel, and that was uh, Al from uh, North Kyme, still in Lincolnshire where I live at the end of the day. So uh, he's a local chap as well, and um, he was just showing me some other little things that he does. He likes the idea of what I do, like tinkering about in my shed and. Uh, you know, doing sort of things that you enjoy doing. And he's got a little project which he's working on at the moment where he actually makes, uh, he takes gas bottles and converts them into little stoves or, or little things like that. And um, yeah, good little projects. I've actually seen them, people do that on um, on YouTube. And also I've seen people selling them on eBay as well. And uh, as I say, show me some pictures of the, on, on his phone of the uh, one that he'd actually done. And yeah, he's very good at it. So keep that up now anyway. And it's nice to see you. Always nice to meet uh, people who watch the videos and all that. And uh, yeah, that's it. So I'm just going to finish off with this second bracket now. I'm going inside. I'm going to have my Sunday dinner and uh, probably fit this tomorrow morning. So I thought I'd just get this little video up. I wanted to show you all the, um, the ventilation and ducting in, but obviously time restraints dictated otherwise, and I've had other things to do as well. So um, yeah, don't forget, as I say, I'll leave a link down in the description about the Atex rated fan, which I'm using. As I say, you've got to be using explosion proof fans uh, especially if you're doing it as a business, but I mean, even if you're running it as a uh, your own garage or whatever, and you're, you're you're using just normal extract fans and whatever, there is a big fire risk with them. Uh, a lot of people have, have uh, looked on YouTube for how tos on how to build a spray booth, for example, and um, most people aren't using the Atex rated fan. I know the rules and regulations change country to country, and also when I was looking for this fan. A lot of them that you see are three-phase fans, and we haven't, we've only got sort of 240 volt 
single phase supplies in most domestic situations for example and these ones which I have uh, the power star ones uh, are 240 volts and they come in a variety of sizes I think from 8 inch up to 16 inch and what, that's a big one on wheels basically I think if you can wheel that about sort of thing so I like for the 12 inch version do check out their website as I say I'll leave a link in the description as well uh, to the company and they do also sell them on eBay and also on uh, Amazon as well I think I ordered it one day and 24 hour delivery it came the next day fantastic service as well so there you go that's this little video you'll see an update on the the, the uh, spray booth coming up this week hopefully we get the doors on as well and there's still things to do in here I've got some lights in there. I don't know whether I've got enough lights at the moment but we can always add them afterwards as well uh, I've got another little door to put in around the back so you can enter and exit from the, the rear of the uh, spray booth and also in the future we'll be putting uh, a few windows in there as well so you can actually look in it as well but again later on it's, it's a work in progress we just want to get the booth up and running and that's hopefully what you'll be seeing in the next couple of videos on how to build a spray booth our way <laughs> okay thanks very much see you in the next video and until then bye for now Bye.